We've chosen 10 top themes to work on. We don't have the numbers yet. We're working with our team in the United Arab Emirates to get those numbers worked out. But these are the 10 main themes that we're talking about. Number one, to drastically reduce the CO2 emissions. Number two, to convert the 12 million tons of waste that is created into energy, as well as reducing the packaging in the first place. Number three, let's export all the natural gas and earn foreign currency for that and use all the natural resources of the sun and the wind and the sand for our power. Number four, make electricity generation and consumption local. Every building, whether it's a home, an apartment building, condominium, or a business, should be sustainable, should be able to operate without the grid and without any other security issues being involved. Number five, we should implement a human asset care policy. There are 4.4 million human assets in UAE, and each of their productivity and their health creates the wealth from the country. We must start servicing and maintaining them in the same way as we do with the buildings, with the technology, with the computers, with all the machinery and the equipment that we have in the country. Number six, let's incentivize those human assets to practice preventative health care. Let's help them take responsibility for their own health and keep themselves healthy and fit for their families, for their community and for the country. Number six, improve the food security. We're producing very little in the way of food currently and we need to be able to produce more food that the, the citizens can consume. Number seven, we have the sun, we have the sand, we have the wind. Let's capture that nature's energy and use it for the homes and for the businesses. Number eight, we need to convert the transportation. There is no reason why any of the cars or the buses or the trains or the trucks are running on fuel. We have energy technologies that can replace those completely. So let's convert all the automobiles, all of the trucks onto running without producing CO2 emissions and being cost effective for the citizens. Number nine, let's create new social enterprises for the youth. Let's teach them how to be social entrepreneurs. Give them the skills to become environmental advisors and installers. Give them new, interesting and rewarding careers that they can have fun with. And number 10, let's make sure that everyone in the country can learn about these technologies, can learn about how to become green and sustainable themselves. So let's make sure that all the materials that we produce, the multimedia and the e-learning materials, are produced and available in all the languages, in Arabic, Persian, English, Hindi and Urdu. And if there are other minority languages, then we'll make sure that they're translated into those. Because sharing this knowledge, sharing this wisdom is really important for the sustainability and for the empowerment of all citizens in this program. So, in conclusion, we are ready to make the United Arab Emirates the global country of green. I'm known as the Queen of Green, and so I'm happy to be your advisor and your mentor and your inspiration. And my team in the United Arab Emirates are world-class people who are ready to put this dream into action, to implement it, to mobilize 4.4 million citizens in the UAE, and together with cooperation and collaboration, we can make the United Arab Emirates the first global country of green. Thank you.